Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today's card is very, very simple to make. There are a couple of variations that I'm going to show you. And unusually for me, I have started off with my sentiment, which says for someone special. And I have placed this so that I can put a design through the center. Now, I've done this with my silver bullet and I have done this with a pen and holder and so I've got some very, very neat writing. If you can't do that, then you could always stamp your sentiment. And on here, I have got a very light coating of spray glue. Very, very light coating, but there is a reason for that. So this is going to go through the centre of my card and I have some flowers cut out. Now these obviously are white flowers against a white background and that's not what I'm after. But what I want to do is just a pretty effect on here. So I'm just gonna get a piece of kitchen towel, move my card front out of the way. This powder, which was purchased from Superdrug and it is Loose Powder Highlighter. I don't think I would ever actually wear this on my face, but it's a very interesting powder. It's relatively cheap. It was five pounds for this container. There's quite a lot in here. And you use very, very little of it, but it's a very fine shimmery powder, which is exactly what I want. Now, in this particular case, it's probably not gonna show up a vast amount because white on white and I'm doing this in daylight but basically all I want to do is to brush this on and just randomly brush it it's going to give me oh, it's got a hair in there that's always the way isn't it you get a hair off your brush when you don't want one come off you will come off okay I'll get the hairs off afterwards when I can look a bit closer but you may or may not be able to see the slight shimmer on here. It depends on the light and the colour of your card. But that's one product you can use. And a lot of these makeup products will be very, very handy for adding shimmer to card. Now the other one I've got here is a powder from Born Pretty. It's designed for nail art. And this is much darker, so hopefully you'll be able to see this a lot better. There we are. I'll take off the excess here. And I just want, I said, this random sort of look. I don't want it to be a definite pattern. Now you can get these sorts of things in all sorts of colours. And if you happen to have got them for nail use and not using them, then that's something else you can use. The other ones that I have here are Perlex powders. Now these are relatively expensive to buy, but as I said, you know, a little goes a long way. It's not that drastic. You know, just get yourself one every now and again and it will be a worthwhile investment. Now, Perlex is different to, there's another one which is similar, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, Perlex does not have any kind of binding agent with it, which is why I have already put a spray glue on here to hold the powder on. I'm going to go in with the gold now. I have three different shades of gold. And this one is Aztec gold. And I know it looks a little bit of a mess at the moment. It won't. I can assure you it won't. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this pinky one again. This time I'm concentrating a little more on the edges. And I have 
have a nice, beautiful purpley one. And this time, I'm going to make sure I put the lid on because if you have to spill these, it goes everywhere. I'm just going to swish it around a bit. Like that. You can go around in circles, you could do whatever you like. When you've done that, what you need to do is take your cloth, make sure it is well dried, and then you can dust off any excess. I want to stick my flowers onto that. There we are. And just for the final touch, I wanted to put some gems on. And unusually for me, I've gone for a very bright gold gem, but that's because it is related to the colour that I have done the writing. So, if you wanted to, what you could do is make up several of these to be used at a later date and just store them. Because they're quite pretty. This one is to be placed on there and I think you can see that makes a really nice subtle pretty but certainly not difficult card front. I have another version here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice it's going all croaky. And with this one I've not actually stuck them down yet. With this one, I've used some gold glitter card cutouts. I've just got the centre in that one still. Okay, and I'll show you what this one looks like. So they're not stuck in place. And I've not put anything in the centre of those, so that's another variation. Again, it's quite subtle. It's not bad at all. And now for the last one, what I want to do is show you what it looks like if you use a much darker card. Right, so that has a coating of spray glue. Now you could use a Versamark pad to dampen it slightly and make it sticky. Um, yeah, I didn't choose to do it that way, but you could. And I'm just taking some of the powder from on the top here and swirling around. So you get a slightly different effect if you're swirling around. And you'll get a different effect if you use a much bigger brush. You know, if you used a blush brush, for example, a different effect again. So this is the gold one again. I've not changed the colours. I've just kept the same colours there. And just dab a bit of this around much, much more noticeable colour when you do it all black. You can also use what I would class as cheap and nasty eyeshadows if you have any that you don't like. Basically anything that has a really fine powder that you like the colour of, go for it. Now the nice thing of doing this is if you make these strips in advance, you can then colour match them to whatever card colour you want to do and to the occasion. You know, there might be some particular reason why you'd want to use gold or silver. So you can colour match them and it won't take you very long to add your tinges of colour and you don't have to be careful about it. There's nothing precious about this colour scheme at all. If you want to, you can get sort of um, nebula type looks with it as well. If you have used Versamark, do dry it off with your heat tool afterwards to make sure it's properly dry before you rub off any excess. 
Here I've done another different one. I've not put any gems in the centre yet, but this one has been done with sparkly eyeshadows. And then I've cut out some silvery vinyl and put that inside for the flowers. And again, that gives an awful lot of extra oomph and it does look really, really pretty. So here are my three cards made with the same design. So this one is the palest of the lot and I've just put that one onto a blue base for something a little different so you get a little bit of a surprise when you open it up. But it's a very pretty, very delicate card. This one I did with the eyeshadows. This was just from a very cheap eyeshadow palette and just applied with a brush in the same way. I've not put any sentiments on these because I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. And then this one is the one that I finished off with a few little pearls in the centre of the flowers. You do need a certain angle of the light to hit them to make them really sparkly. So they're subtle most of the time. And it's only when the light catches them that you realise that they're pearlized at all. So that's it. I hope you enjoy these cards. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.